Everybody, welcome back. Hold on. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Geek City. And I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Something I haven't done before. My top five favorite Daredevil comic books of all time. So let's get started. <laughs> And welcome back to Geek City. So, I want to start a series where I look at the top five favorite uh, comic books of a specific character or team. Uh, I, you know, could have obviously done the basic answer and started with, like, Batman or Spider-Man or Superman. But I thought that would be boring, so I thought I'd start with a character like Daredevil. So that's what I'm going to be doing here, is looking at my top five favorite Daredevil comic books. Uh, talking about why I love those uh, comics and why those are some of my favorites, um... This is just my opinion. Um, let me know in the comments section what your top five would be. Uh, what are some that you thought should have been on this list? Some you thought shouldn't have been on this list. I'd love to hear your opinions and I'd love communicating with you guys here on YouTube. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, as always, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that stuff. And let's not waste any more time and get straight into this. Alright, so first up at number five we have Daredevil and Electro. So this is a more modern story written by Chip Zdarsky that I really enjoy, so... Uh, this was after his main run, and basically, um, that was, a, which is a great run, and we'll talk about that later, but this is kind of like wrapping up his story, kind of starting um, a new, uh, a new sort of story, and this was kind of what was going on uh, in Daredevil Comics before the new uh, writers coming up, I forget his name, I haven't been reading a lot of that run, but I need to catch up on it, but I thought that this was uh, like a really fun story. Uh, it's cool to see Daredevil and Elektra together, and now that they're both kind of technically uh, Daredevil, that's kind of interesting here. So it's basically just doing the job of wrapping up Chip Zdarsky's run um, after the main, hold on, let me find it right here, after all this stuff with like Devil's Reign and all that. And this has some really good artwork in it, I really dig this uh, artwork, it really pops off of the page and these colors are really good. And uh, so I feel like Chip Zdarsky's a great writer. And this is a prime example of that. So it's cool to see um, Daredevil and Elektra together. And this is a really fun story. So, yeah. Coming in at number four. This is one that most people would probably have as, like, their, um, their number one. So, I don't know. I, I still love it, but obviously I don't think it's, it's not my favorite. Daredevil Born Again. Again, I love, 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 love this book. This is a great comic book. I just think that there are some Daredevil stories that I like more than, than this one. So this is uh, by Frank Miller and David Mazzuccelli here. The same team that gave us Batman Year One. And this is a great, great story about Karen Page kind of uh, screwing things up. Revealing Matt Murdock's identity. So let's just say Matt Murdock's uh, identity is, is revealed. And so there are some really powerful people who want to uh, take him down. So as you can see... Them knowing his uh, identity would probably be not great. That's probably not very um, not a very good thing. So you have stuff with Matt in here tackling that. There's not a lot of Daredevil in the story. I realize like a lot of it when you get into the later half in here is mainly just like him uh, in this this like blue jacket here. And uh, this artwork is so good. Look at that. Look at the details there. That is some good stuff right there. I love David Mazzuccelli's artwork in it. It's also really good in, of course, Batman Year One. So this is kind of another version of that. And look at that Kingpin. I love the way he draws Kingpin there. So this is, um, I, I wonder if they're going to adapt this in the TV show because it's called Born Again, but I don't know if that's just like a reference to, you know, the TV show being brought back or a, a nod to the comics. But uh, this does. This story is um, really good because although Karen Page does a bad thing in here trying to get some drugs or whatnot, there's a lot of stuff going on in here, and then with Foggy, uh, I like what they're doing with him, uh, with the girl, and I need to reread this one. This is uh, really good. So, uh, I, I again, this is a love, uh, great story. I don't want y'all to think, oh, he has this at number four. How is this not number one? This is a great story. I love it. I love this story. I just think that there are better ones, personally, and that's, that's okay. That's fine, you know? If you disagree with me, uh, let me know in the comments. 
uh, let me know in the comments. So next, number three, we have Daredevil Yellow. So Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale did four books called Daredevil Yellow, Captain America White, uh, Spider-Man Blue, and Hulk Gray. I love all of them. I only own two of them. I need to get the other ones, but this is one of them. And all those books are about the character looking back and mourning. So this one, Daredevil Yellow, is about Matt Murdock looking back at Karen Page. So it's kind of like a, a year one type story where you're seeing um, him kind of meeting Karen Page for the first time and some stuff with his father in here. And I love Tim Sale's artwork. I love the way he draws it. It's very cartoonish and uh, it's not realistic, but it's so great. And rest in peace, man. We lost him a couple years ago. Look at those colors, dude. I love this this uh, this art style. And of course, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale are a powerhouse. They have done so many stories with Marvel and DC. Those two together just create a form, special kind of magic here. Um, so it's kind of just looking back at um, this is this is a good kind of origin story if you don't want to read Man Without Fear. Because you see him putting on the suit, donning it for the first time, him graduating, and then the, you know, you have him narrating, talking about, um, Karen Page, and then there's, there's the Thing, uh, and the Fantastic Four showing up in here, and you have the Purple Man, uh, the Purple Man, like, hypnotizing her, let me see if I can find it somewhere in here. So this is when, uh, yeah, Karen Page is locked up, and the Night Owl, forgot his name. So yeah. Here's, where's the purple man? Yeah, right there, purple man. So this is a fun story. I really, really, uh, really love this one. As a good, It's a good jumping on point, and it's a good way to kind of look back. And of course, it has some great writing from Jeff Loeb and the beautiful artwork from Tim Sale. So yeah, I think this is a really good one. Honestly, again, I want to mention all of those, um, those four Daredevil Yellow and all that stuff. That's all great. Read it. Uh, number two... No Fear by Chip Zdarsky. I've read three volumes of the Daredevil run by Chip Zdarsky, and I'm loving it. All volumes one, two, and three, but out of my favorite, I gotta go with No Fear here. I love this story. I love what it is. It's a great job showing how broken of a character Matt Murdock is. Um, so he's kind of, he, he's getting back into things. He's getting back into action after a long um, period of not being Daredevil. Uh, Daredevil. I fear that I've ended up saying Deadpool in this video. I'll have to rewatch and figure out. But, um, so you have this cop coming in. I forget his name. He's a great character who's kind of showing up all throughout the run. And they have a really cool fight in here. But as you can see, Daredevil is kind of struggling here. He's kind of struggling to get back into things. And, um, and, uh, there's some really cool stuff in here. You have, of course, Kingpin's there. But this is, of course, setting up the run, the whole run, and what the kind of the themes there are. And then, um, some plot points that will be important so i really like issue four that is the issue with the punisher and the and like and um daredevil daredevil puts on the punisher t-shirt let me see if i can find it in here he kind of goes a little cuckoo so he had that fight with the cop in here really good stuff let's see is he wearing this this shirt at this point this is also really like violent like it's a pretty dark story and i think i i, I, I like that like i like that um, I like when, you know, Daredevil is a little more violent, you know, more of a street character. Yeah, here it is. Here's the Punisher issue. I love this issue. Issue 4 here. I Also, this artwork by, um, let me find the name in here. Um, uh, Marco, Marco Checo, Checchetto. I'm sorry, I, I mispronounced the name, but this artwork fits perfectly with Daredevil. I love this artwork. So yeah, here's the Punisher issue. He puts on the shirt. Perfect timing on that. And then here's that final issue in here. And then at the end, Spider-Man shows up and he's like, dude, you gotta quit, man. Stop. And so then that's when the run continues on. So yeah, this is a great, really dark, um, sad Daredevil story that is so, so good. But coming in at number one, as a huge fan of origin stories, I knew this had to be number one. Daredevil, The Man Without Fear by Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. So in case you don't know, this was supposed to be a movie. I hate that we didn't get to see this as a movie. Uh, but this is Frank Miller basically taking the script and just turning it into a movie. Because he wrote, he wrote the script, uh, the screenplay. And I hate that we didn't get to see that because this is great. So this is basically just the origin of Matt, uh, Matt Murdock and Daredevil. Starting all the way back with the Battling Jack day, uh, days with his father being a boxer and how, how he's killed... And whenever he loses his sight and 
um, being taught by stick. It goes through everything in five beautiful, beautifully drawn and beautifully written issues. I love origin stories. I like that. I like knowing uh, where these characters came from. And so that's what this is. So you're getting to go back. See, see when he met Foggy Nelson. When he started Nelson and Murdoch. When he actually donned the, the uh, suit for the first time. When he first met Electro. All that is in here, and I, it's so good, such great stuff in here. I love the way John Romita Jr. draws Kingpin, he's this huge figure, uh, and I like this artwork a lot, and so, this is really just, I think, a, this is probably, my, this is my favorite Daredevil, uh, comic, and the reason is just because I, I, again, I, I'm a huge origin, like, I love origin stories, and so having a comic talking about one of my favorite characters, and like, seeing how they became who they are, I'm gonna love it, and I did. I really, really enjoyed what they did in here. So I, I'm gonna reread this one later because this is one of my favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know in the comment section what are your top five favorite Daredevil stories. This is just my opinion, so let me know in the comments. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay geeky. See you next time.